Bottom of the 11th inning, Mookie coming to the plate. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. There's already one out. The Manfred man is on second base. The Dodgers are down by two. Mookie pops a homer. Tie game. Wouldn't that be fun? Junis on the bump. Goes a little sweeping slider outside. 1-0. Back to it again. 2-0. That's the same pitch, I think. Gets the strike. Then he busts him in. That was cool. So the first three pitches that he throws are all moving away from Mookie. See? Starting middle, moving away, starting middle, moving away, and then doesn't really move away, but same movement. And then after three in a row, he says, and now I'm going to go the other way, inside on you. Mookie swings through it. The count is two and one. The 2-2 pitch is popped up. That's an easy out. The pitcher says, no way, I got it. Third baseman says, don't worry. Oh, worry. Now the pitcher grabs it and just flings it. So we'll go slow through this. It bounces off the third baseman's glove, so he doesn't catch it. The pitcher right into his glove, and he's like, well, look. Look what I found. I'll just throw it to first. And just throws it way away. Just no one's even ready or there. So that goes into right field. Now the runner, who was on second, he starts rounding third because he's like, can I score on this? And the third base coach is holding him up because they're about to pick up the ball. You can see on the right side. He's like, stop, 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 stop. And that's great because right now, instead of an out, you would have second and third, the tying run on second with two outs to go. There would only be one out in the inning. The only problem is Mookie Betts never heard no bell, and he just books it to third for no reason. Ever He just had to hang out at second base, and it would have been fine. Maybe he was looking for the third base coach to pick him up, but the third base coach was way down the line giving signs to the runner ahead of him. So now they got both runners hung up, and it's a really good job of just running the ball in to the spot running it in, making them freeze, freeze the runner, throws it in to Crawford at short, who catches it, and he's going to go after Mookie. But Tyro at second's like, no, 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 dude, throw it to me. Throw it to me. Let's get him at home. They come home with it, and now they have the runner going home, locked up. What's going to happen now? They're chasing him back, chasing him back, chasing him back. He puts on the brakes, and he's out. Now it's good base running by Mookie to get to third and advance if he's out. Junis throws it to third, and everyone, look at the catcher. Junis, stop throwing it around, man. Calm, said, calm down, calm down. Just calm, chill, chill. Don't overthrow third. You already overthrew first for no reason. Chill, chill, chill. And the Dodgers could have had something good there. They could have had second and third one out off of the Giants' mistake, but then the bad base running, they got saved. He's doing mental math like, oh, well, if I caught it, we would have had two outs, and we got the second out. It's almost like the... I think it's not that bad. It's almost like he just tagged up on the pop-up, and I don't think anyone was covering third base anyway, so maybe he could have just tagged up on the pop-up. Let's go check out that theory that I've run into. And Crawford was covering third because he's a pro and knows what he's doing. Anyway, now Freddie Freeman steps up, and he's got a runner on third, and he's got the pitch he's looking for. No. It's not that. That's not the one he's looking for. Uh, strike one. No, nope, that's not the one he's looking for. Shit, shit. Maybe that should have been the one he was looking for. The same pitch three times in a row. One, two, three. Looking, looking, awkward swinging to end the game. And the Giants, even though they committed the blunder, the bad base running was kind of the worst blunder after the blunder. It was just a blunder fest. And they're smiling and laughing because they won this game. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this breakdown, and thank you to you guys for watching it, and thank you to the Giants and the Dodgers for being baseball teams and playing the game.